Mahesh, I'm going to come to you. Man, I've, I've seen you play at the highest level, had the privilege of watching you play in doubles. Grit, Grit determination, perseverance, perseverance, all the adjectives I used a little earlier in such large doses. I'm sure it comes from somewhere. Take us back in time to the early years, you know, a little bit of a story. Of the, you know, what's, what's gone into making Mahesh Bhupiti the man he is today? I don't know how to, how to answer that. I mean, my dad put me into tennis very young, and I think things evolved to a certain stage where uh, I don't know if tennis was my first choice, but it became my automatic choice, and then it, I got to loving it enough that I really wanted to pursue it. I think my dad took me to Wimbledon, I think, in, 90, in 1987 when I was 13, and obviously being there, you know, got the juices flowing to the point where you wanted to kind of play there at some point in your life as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, playing tennis is glamorous when you talk about, uh, or you sit back and talk about whatever you've won today, but you know, it's, it's possibly the most lonely sport out there because it's an individual sport, it's not a team event. I probably spent 25 years of my life traveling alone. I went to play, I went to the Harry Hopman Academy when I was seven, unaccompanied, my parents wow. sent me on a plane. So, you know, I spent most of my life alone in hotel rooms. So, uh, life now is totally different. I mean, my wife's kind of, you know, taken over my social calendar, introduced me to people. <laughs> I have friends that I can, you know, <laughs> but all that didn't exist before. I mean, my only circle was my tennis circle and any friends that I have used to play tennis, never made it and today are in the business world. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of sacrifice, but you know, if you look back now, I guess everything's worth it. So, you know, there's this often spoken about nuance that says there are tons of tennis players that are talented almost equally, give or take, but matches or slams or tournaments are won in the mind, and that really makes the difference between a winner and someone who doesn't win that often. A little bit about that, about mental get-up, what it takes. I think the head is a very important component. I think, uh, yeah, today hard work, everyone's putting in the same That's amount right. of work. Most people can hit a great backhand and a forehand, but unless you can win the points when it counts, that's what stands out. And, you know, Djokovic, Rafa and Roger are a perfect example. Guys can play them close every match, but when it comes to the crunch, they take it up a notch. And that's... I think that's where tennis makes a difference. It's the heart, the head, and the legs. If you don't have all three components, you won't make it. You seem a very controlled person, at least socially, right? <laughs> you, you, you save the lines, and I've had the privilege of hearing the lines, <laughs> albeit in private conversation. You know, when you're out there on the court, you're out there on the court. I mean, you know, does it take a big switch? You know, from you know, being the person you are that's controlled, that's reserved if I might, and when you're out there, your, your aggression levels, uh, your desire to win. We've seen tennis players of all kinds, some like the Boggs and you know, maybe yeah. even the Federers of this world are very controlled. And on the other hand, you've got really aggressive players. What does it take? I mean, you know, is it, is it a pull and push, personal personality versus the tennis champion? Uh, yeah, I think on the court is different. I mean, for me specifically, because we play doubles, so I always had to feed off my partner and the energy coming on from, you know, the other side of the court. And, uh, you know, there are days when I'm playing terrible and my partner has to you right. know, get the energy going and vice versa. So, um, and I kind of thrive in team competition as well. I went to college in the States and that also kind of gave me a sense into how team competition works. So, it... it uh, yeah, I mean, energy on the court, most of the time people couldn't understand it when they knew me off court, how that would translate to the energy they saw on the court, but it kind of stayed on the court most of the time. <laughs> exactly the reason for my asking. Lara doesn't look like she agrees with you completely on that last bit. <laughs>